Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nickel and EJ's Misfortune Melinda's Child Specialist Result Sloan's Most Terrible Untruth Yet Days of Our Lives spoilers for the seven-day stretch of November 13 to 17 uncover that Sloan Peterson Brady will feel like that's the last straw. After the reception fails to work out, Sloane actually won't figure she can continue to deny Eric Brady of his opportunity at parenthood. Sloane will intend to make an admission and let Eric in on that Nickel Walker Demera is conveying his child, yet Melinda Trask will slow it down. Day's spoilers say Melinda won't need Sloane exploding her life until they've depleted all choices. In the interim, E.J. DeMiro will wind up on a frantic mission to track down Nicole, who'll start giving birth after an auto collision. Dimitri Von Luschner and Leo Obvious will be the reason for that mishap, so DOL spoilers say they'll need to deal with some child disarray subsequently. After Leo conveys the child and gives him to Dimitri, E.J. will at long last find Nicole and request to know where his child is. Dimitri will some way or another wind up giving the child to Sloan, who'll get refreshes on Nichols' trial before Melinda pitches a hazardous arrangement. Melinda will demand paying off a specialist to say Nichols' child died, which will open the entryway for Sloan to keep the youngster and raise him with Eric. After Jaina Tracker lands harmed on the position, Rafe Hernandez will ensure she moves to the clinic immediately. Afterward, Rafe will at last find Leo, who'll confront inquiries concerning Dimitri's area. Then day spoilers say Eric will support Nicole as she worries about her child. Sooner or later, EJ will get Nicole tolerating Eric's soothing hug and fume with desire. Tate Dark will likewise uphold Holly Jonas as she stresses over her younger sibling and the cost this is taking on Nicole. Holly will ultimately visit the emergency clinic alongside Johnny Demera, so they might share a few close minutes as they anticipate news. After Melinda pushes ahead with her arrangement to pay an obscure specialist, Nicole and EJ will confront a staggering blow. It seems to be EJ and Nicole will without a doubt be informed that their child didn't make do, yet things clearly will not be as they appear. This child really has a place with Eric and will be completely fine. Melinda will convey that newborn child to Eric and Sloane eventually, so Eric will be excited over the family expansion and distressed over Nicole's misfortune without having the real factors. Back with Leo, Day's spoilers say he'll figure out how to get together with Dimitri, who'll push Leo to escape Salem while he actually can. Done with Everett Lynch, he'll encounter Alex Kyriakis and will at last figure out that he's Stephanie Johnson's ex. Across town, dubious Steve Johnson will convey an admonition to Konstantin Melianis, who'll wind up providing Theresa Donovan new orders later. Despite the fact that Theresa will stall with regards to assisting Konstantin with his arrangement to real Maggie Kyriakis, Suzanne Rogers, in, Konstantin will most likely coercion her into it. With respect to Steve and John Dark, Drake Hokiston, they'll examine worries about Konstantin and will think about going on an outing to Greece probably to research his set of experiences and life there. Somewhere else, Chad Demera, Billy Flynn, will choose to make Wen Rizjek, Emily O'Brien, a deal, so he'll obviously call her abroad. Gwen could hear a pitch that is too great to even think about missing, so this could prompt Chad purchasing the Observer and acquiring the ability to fire Everett. At long last, Sarah Horton will blame Xander Cook over a filthy move, so that will bring one more round of battling for these previous blazes. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Xander and Sarah will confront a defining moment in their hostile relationship in a little while, so remain tuned. Dr. Rolf's assistance for Dimitri, Gabby's horrible destiny, beauty tears into EJ. Days of Our Lives, D-O-O-L, spoilers for Thursday, November 9, uncover that Wendy Shins, Victoria Elegance, Dauntlessness will be scrutinized, so that might include burial service game plans for Lai Shin, Remington Hoffman, or conversing with her dad. Wendy regularly doesn't coexist with Mr. Wei Shin, Clyde Kuzatsu. However, she ought to share something practically speaking with him for once since they'll both need revenge. Maybe Wendy's valiance will become possibly the most important factor by the way she stands firm against Gabby Demira, Camila Banis, also, particularly assuming she gives a meeting to the press or something like that. 
In the interim, Rafe Hernandez, Galen Gearing, will have some awful news for Gabby with respect to her destiny. It doesn't seem to be there's anything Rafe can do to prevent Gabby from arriving in jail, particularly with E.G. Demera, Dan Fuerigal, filling in as Salem's new DA. Gabby could undoubtedly be denied bail and shipped off Statesville to anticipate preliminary. In any event, day spoilers say Beauty Brady, Martha Madison, will tear into E.J. over what she sees as cruel treatment of her client, so she'll retaliate for Gabby's benefit. Then day spoilers say Dimitri von Luschner, Peter Port, will battle with responsibility, so he might regret compelling Leo Obvious, Greg Reichardt, into a day-to-day -day existence where they continually need to investigate their shoulders. Notwithstanding, Leo might guarantee Dimitri that he's in with no reservations and that essentially nothing else has any significance aside from being together. Obviously, Leo's frantically enamored, so he'll demand staying a group. Eventually, on Thursday's DOL episode, somebody amazing will make an appearance to help Dimitri. Day spoilers say Dr. Wilhelm Rolf, Richard Wharton, will act the hero some way or another, so he might offer an escape vehicle, counterfeit international IDs and other valuable instruments to get these criminals out of the country. Obviously, there will be a few snags regardless of Dr. Rolf's choice to loan some assistance, particularly since Jana Tracker, Elia Cantu, will begin surrounding Leo and Dimitri before the week's over. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Dimitri and Leo's experience on the lam will bring a few wild minutes, so remain tuned for refreshes on the stunners this will prompt. The most devious days of our lives Demira title goes to. Things used to be more straightforward on Days of Our Lives some time ago when Stefano was still near. Everybody realized he was the baddest Demira living and nobody could at any point attempt to challenge that title. All things considered, some did. It didn't end well for them. However, now that Stefano, Joseph Mascolo, is no longer with us, his many, numerous ill-conceived youngsters are continually jeering for the title of most horrendously awful of just terrible. Which one do you suppose merits the crown? This is everything north of 2,000 watchers said to us about that. Dimitri, Peter Port, thought he was so shrewd. Be that as it may, at this point, he is on the run with, in a real sense, the most irritating individual on the planet, hanging out in filthy lodgings while Leo, Greg Reichardt, goes a little overboard on extravagant salves. Assuming Stefano had some awareness of this grandson, he'd look down in disgrace, as per 7% of the crowd. Just a somewhat bigger 14% think E.J. can possibly assume his daddy's position. In any case, the issue is that E.J. was raised by sweet, adoring, strange Susan, Stacy Haydock. Regardless of how enthusiastically he attempts to be a boss, there is consistently that troublesome still, small voice his mom embedded in him. He's great at being terrible. In any case, he's not awesome. Kristen, Stacy Haydock, may be the most awful as indicated by 21% of fans. Be that as it may, the issue is, she is additionally insane. Stefano might have been insane. In any case, he was dependably insane like a fox. Kristen is insane like a hyena. We have no clue about why she does what she does, particularly when it's against her well-being, which will prevent her from being top of the load. Stefan, Brandon Barish, and Gabby, Camila Bonas, cooperate, not against one another. They're a unified front and a group. This is the reason 58% of electors anticipate that they should constantly prove to be the best. They will take Stefano's crown. Furthermore, they will share it. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.